It's one of the pillars of chronic disease prevention. More exercise is better for our long-term health. But for Australians born with heart disease, the benefits are not as clear, prompting a world-first trial to see if more movement helps. It's one of the best prescriptions for long-term health. More of this can help fight off obesity, heart disease and dementia. But when people are born with heart disease, there's an element of caution that exercise can put more stress on the heart. Probably not to overdo it has been the advice I've been given. Sarah was eight years old when she needed open heart surgery to treat a structural defect she was born with. It was so long ago now, I can't believe it. It's almost 20 years. The 26-year-old from Campbelltown never let her congenital heart disease get in the way of her sporting pursuits, but... I just knew I couldn't do like the long-term cross-country style sports. When it comes to giving patients the best advice, there is scant evidence on the benefits. The Heart Research Institute wants to change that, recruiting 400 volunteers. This is one of the world's largest and most conclusive randomised controlled exercise trials for people living with congenital heart disease. Sarah didn't hesitate to enrol in the four-month personalised exercise program. Researchers will assess the effects on the heart, lungs and bones. We're hoping to see that they have improved heart function and as well as uh, improved life expectancy and improved quality of life. People living with congenital heart disease aged between 10 and 55 will be recruited from several states across the country with the help of two major fitness chains. It can also be done remotely online for regional residents. It gives you less fear probably and anxiety about what you can do. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.